What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another to another modern brew here. We're we're looking at this RPG Badger uh, Venser the Sojourner Stonehorn Dignitary deck, and this is how it looked uh, to start out with. I'm gonna upload it to the Stream Decker so you guys can take a gander at the deck list if you'd like. Um, we're gonna make a bunch of changes. I actually like Venser as a Planeswalker. I think being able to blink any permanent you own and plus two Venser to put him up to five is pretty good. And um, that being said, I really would like to have more blinky boys than just the Stonehorn Dignitary. I feel like this was just made to, to troll Badger's friends. He's just like, I'm going to troll all my friends with this deck. And uh, they're never going to be able to attack ever. And I was, and then they're just like, all right, I'm going to kill your Stonehorn. And you're like, dang it. I should have put a counter spell in the deck. If it's a spirit, put a one on counter on it. So this is basically just exile a creature you control, then return to the battlefield. Exile a creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield. So this is just a strictly better cloud shift, right? Because they're both one mana, they both do the same thing. Only this has the upside of being a spirit. I do like Reflector Mage. We're looking for the best blue and white creatures that actually end up... Um, you know... that actually end up killing our opponents. I don't know if you've like Cryptic Command in the deck, I'll be honest. It's just, you have a, a lot of four drops. I don't think we really want Venser just because he is another four drop. <laughs> um, I don't think you need this. What is Dawn Charm for? I don't think Dawn Charm is gonna make the cut, I wanna be honest with you. We're gonna change this, we're gonna change this thing all up. I think Momentary Blink might be better than both Cloud Shift and Essence Flux. However, I also don't think you need it. Maybe you do. I want some two drops. What are good two drops that we can blink and get value off of? Like Lone Missionary. Blade Splicer. Again, I'm getting a little concerned with our three drop slot. Rattle Chains. Well, the problem is we don't have any other spirits though. All right, like Rattle Chains only targets the spirit. So what's the, I don't know, I don't know what Rattle Chains is gonna do here. Mull Drifter is nice. I do like a Mull Drifter. I feel like two Mull Drifter could be good. Can we blink a Hydroid Crassus and play it in this deck? That seems like it could, could be cool. I think we actually might cut one Venser. I don't love Meddling Mage without ways to look at their hand. Um, and plus we're not trying to like just Meddling Mage and then we're done. So it's good in like humans because it's a human, so it takes advantage of all the human synergies. And it's also nice because even if it doesn't hit, like you can still play a three drop, then a four drop, then a five drop. Like, um, So it has a lot of synergies in the human deck, whereas like in here, you're just gonna play turn two meddling mage. And even if you vent her to exile it and put it back into play, like you still don't know what to name, you know? So you're not actually being able to take advantage of the tempo, like the 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 restriction that, that meddling mage is putting on your opponent. Wall of Omens is actually exactly what I'm looking for. This is 68 cards. I'm going to take out one Venser because I think three is a lot, or four is a lot. I'm going to take out one Cryptic Command. Um, I don't think we have enough mana for Eldrazi Displacer, I'm going to be honest. I think with Resto and Momentary Blink and Venser, I don't think we need Displacer. And we also, like, our only colorless sources are, like, Field of Ruin, Field of Ruin and two Ipinu Rivulets, which should probably be, these actually don't have, um, these don't have any real incentive to, like these These are just better to be out of car wastes. If we're gonna keep the Displacers. And now we have 27 lands, so we can actually take out, uh, Glacials are nice. We have four Hollowed Fountains, we have Flooded Strands, Celestial Colonnades are nice. We should probably play the full set of Colonnades as well. I think we're gonna take out Sea Chrome Coast. Uh, we can take out two Glacials. Take out the Ghost Quarter because you don't need that many. Yeah, I do like I like Displacer, but I feel like we should either do three and you should do four of one and and 
So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. It's still not. It's still not a lot of. Uh, it's still not a lot of colorless sources. Let's do two and two. I think that could be fine. What does Ifara do again? That's the god, right? As long as your devotion is less than seven, it can't send a creature. It'd probably be, it'd probably be able to attack here. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you had another creature under the battlefield, oh, that's actually pretty good. God, we have so many four drops, though. I don't think this is a cryptic command deck. It's, I, I, I like having the, the utility of cryptic command, but I don't think it's, I don't think it does what we want it to do here. Snapcaster, we don't have enough targets for. We only have Momentary Blink, which is already Snapcat snappable. And we also have Path to Exile. I think we just want... Badger, what is, what is that What is that response to? I have no idea. Oh, I love Cryptic. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Cryptic is one of my favorite cards. What are some of the best enters the battlefield? Oh my god, Palace Jailer would be gas. The bounce while the bounce is theirs and yours. That's not bad. Uh, we could Vendillion Click. I don't actually like... Um, that's like my big secret. I'm not a, I'm not a huge Vendillion Click fan. That's my secret. Deputy is decent. I just feel like it's really sensitive. It just, I feel like it dies to everything in this format. But I do, I get your point. I get your point. It might be worth trying, Deputy. I'm actually missing some deputies. But I did not shoot the deputy. Of detention. I did not shoot the deputy of detention. That's the chap. <laughs> That's the gentleman. A uh, phantasmal image is not great. You don't want to be blinking a phantasmal image because it will die. So we need actually need one card here. It might just be another Path to Exile, right? I do like Kitchen Finks a lot. This is a lot of things to blink. My my concern is that we're just not going to have anything to blink when it comes down when it comes time to blink and things. We'll see. We have twenty four lands. We have four out of cars. Two field of ruin. A YM in there. What's a YM? Oh my God! Here we go. Jesus, why are you like this, dude? Why are you like this? I do like a Sun Titan. Yeah, that seems good. Let's do that. We got one path. Sunny Silence on the board. Yeah, I knew it was my mom. I knew. God dang it. What is this three and one? Come on. Just no. Why, why do we have multiple? Come on. Just put four of the same set in there. Don't be like that. Um, what's the other good? Rest in peace? Do we have any graveyard things? Take the settle out, take a, a, a cyclonic rift out. Let's get some, let's get them surgical boys in there. I'm a big surgical fan. We've been over this, you guys know. All right, I don't think you're, I don't think you're likely to get to the mana to cast this. 
I kind of want one more Field of Ruin in the deck. I think we can actually add one more Field of Ruin. Or Ghost Quarters. Maybe these are just better as Ghost Quarters, I think. We don't have that many basics. I think we just want Ghost Quarter. And I think we can add... Um, let's do let's do OG Ghost Quarters. We can cut one island because we only need one island to cast everything in the deck. I'm going to take these out. I'm going to add one Stony and one more Surgical. I think that should be a decent sideboard. Let's try that. I do like Finks. I like Finks somewhere. Let's try it like this. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I have no idea how it's going to go. But we're going to find out. Next time on Dragon Ball Blink. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, is this a horse picture, Matthew? Oh my god. Oh, she's so cute. That is the cute... Look at her little hair. Horses, I like when horses have human hair. Horses have, like, just, like, tussled human hair. Oh, my God. That's adorable. Matthew, does she come up to you? Does she, like, come up and say, hey? Does she recognize you? I need horse friends. I need to go I need to go make some friends with horses, like, right now. Somebody jump in this modern cube, but not if you're Mike, because you're just going to play a miserable deck. Just don't join me. Okay, appreciate it. I appreciate the warning. It's good to know you're already in a cube playing. Thank you. Unseen Spectre, welcome back, buddy. Thank you, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. 22 months in a row. I have an elf deck I can play. <laughs> well, I'm here for you guys. Did he actually make it to work today? Uh, no, he's off today. It's Tuesday. So he is still sleeping right now. This is what we're just waiting for. Come on, little Q. You can do it. I want to put some eye drops in my eyes so you guys get to watch that on YouTube or Twitch or wherever you're watching it. <sighs> okay. Just get so... Why is he sleeping when he can be here giving bad play advice? I don't know why he does anything he does. Oh my god, Matthew, are these pictures are adorable, dude. She's such a cutie. How old is this horse? These are the pictures Matthew Ori is posting in the chat here. This is a little horse friend that, that he goes to visit. And that is adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> You know, based on, like, how uh, Mike's response was to tasting just Mio straight up, I can't even imagine what that would be like in my eyes. Have you played Resident Evil? I have not. I have not. What's it go for on Steam? I actually don't know. It could be 60. It could be, like, 20 because it's a remake. I have no idea. Wow, we've been waiting quite some time in this queue, guys. Well, I feel like Twitch already allowed me to do so, but oh well, glitch in the matrix, I suppose. Oh, Cassius, welcome back again. Move you over here. Move you over here. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see Resident Evil. Sixty dollars? Oh my god! So they're charging full price. I mean, I guess it's like I 
I guess it's quite the remaster. All reviews very positive. Recent reviews mostly positive. Interesting. I've also heard that it's twice as long as the original. Wow, this queue is ridiculous, man. I am not thrilled about this. Oh, we did it. Okay, cool. You know who else charges full price? Fill price? Uh, a gas attendance, I imagine. They probably charge the fill price when you're getting, when you're filling your tank. So I've been reading my way chronologically. The Glove of MTG novels. I picked up the Weatherlight books since uh, I basically started with. The, the chat is moving while I'm reading this. I basically started with The Brothers War, followed the Adventures of Urza, and then picked up the Wildlife books. Then skipped from Apocalypse and Time Spiral, which I'm almost done with now. I mentioned this because we're playing a Venser deck, and he's introduced in Time Spiral. Also, he's a complete weenie so far. Wow. I will play first. I will not keep this hand. I will reluctantly keep this hand because we have double Wall of Omens. So, that's what you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. They went to six, too, so they're basically dead. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, if you guys ever want to hop in the the queues with me while I'm waiting, you're more than welcome to do so. And then we get a little player. Let me get a little uh, a little a little bonding experience. Okay, well, three drop is not what we're looking for. A land is what we're looking for. Yes, are you okay? You heard it here. What's going on? What's happening right now? What did I hear here? I'm more than welcome to hop. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? What's happening right now? Yep. All right. Let's try again. Let's see if within 10 cards we can hit three lands. We cannot. Sounds good. Oh boy. I'm playing with his fun cards and what I get in the book is I just want to go home and play with my toys. What? That's not. There's no way. You're probably, you're probably talking about thinking of a different character. You're probably thinking of like Gerard. There's no way that's a real that's a real character. Can we just kill them with Stonehorn? Is there a way they can win Intruder Alarm? Is that good for us? I don't think so. Maybe? What is this deck? I need this list like yesterday. Let's get rid of that detention, that intruder alarm. You think Amara is the trick? Oh, I guess because... Did they go infinite? Why don't we just get rid of the intruder alarm? Can they go infinite here? Oh, God. I think they go infinite. They just make a guy? What? <laughs> Stop it. They make a guy, which untaps these. They make it... Oh, God. Is this real? Did we just, like... There's nothing we can do here, right? They're just going to go infinite and kill us? Huh. So it doesn't matter what we targeted. They would still be able to... Uh... This is unbelievable. All right. I'm going to bring in a path and double wrath here. I'm going to take out two. I'm going to take out one dignitary. Uh, take out the, the, the Drowsy Displacers. I don't think they're going to be doing, it, doing us much. Yikes. This is a yikes for me, dog.
Badger, do you think we're going to get to seven mana to bounce everything? Because we just lost on turn three, buddy. I, I'm not sure if we're, if we're in a position to be like, man, if only we had seven mana and a Cyclonic Rift. I think that's a really ambitious uh, position to take there. I can dream. Yeah, you're going to... That's all you're going to be able to do. I'm going to pick up four uh, intruder alarms right now. Of which I have zero. This is a cool card to have. I'm, ga I'm game. Yes. I do Scoot and do 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 do. All right. I feel like we're in a little better shape just because we have a. Uh, I feel like we have a better start here. damage to each opponent. Sure. The problem is that they can make them end of turn. And then we never have a chance to detention, to deputy of detention. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we can rest though, right? Yeah, once it's in play, we're good. Okay. Fascinating. I am fascinated. Impact Tremor says, whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. Yeah, so now we have Path in hand, so we're not dead. We can just wait for them to... We can either Resto the Deputy to get all the tokens, but then they just kill us with... We Resto the Deputy to get all the tokens, but then they still have... We have to... God, this is... This is pretty ridiculous. Right, if we give them back impact tremors, they kill us because they still have Amara. What if we take the Amara, though? Then they kill us with tokens. They have no cards in hand, so that's good. 
Oh, we're not dead. Like, they can't attack. They don't have haste. And we can blink this. Like, we can draw momentary blink. We can draw um, flicker wisp and still keep path up. Like, we have actually a bunch of draws. Yeah, we sided in wrath. We could draw wrath. Like, we're definitely not dead. They have no cards in hand. Have you ever had one of those popsicles that comes on the long flat? Yeah, of course. Those are freeze pops. Everyone's had those. I don't think there's literally a child on the planet who has not had a freeze pop before. Oh, we get to go. So we're not dead, and we do get to kill Imara if they try to make one more guy. Okay. Pass. What? Did they just... Interesting. All right. That's actually nice because it's just another blocker for us. Boseju. Oh, no attack. All right. Well. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Here we go. We're just gonna path the Amara now. Because if they don't have a way to untap her, there's no there's no creatures coming into the battlefield. So we can just get rid of this now. They have no engine. We could also blink this, get rid of all their tokens, then blink it again, and it should be fine. I mean, I'm probably going to blink this to get rid of the tokens because they don't have the engine anymore, but it is a little scary because if they top deck... No, I mean, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have lost there because we're in a position where, we, where if they ever tap Imara, we can kill it, and then we can blink this guy instead of playing Stonehorn to get rid of the tokens, so... No, I know what you mean. I'm just saying, like, even if they made, like, 30 tokens, we can still blink this and still have still have path up. Maybe there was a turn where they could have actually killed us. I'm not sure, but... Well, I have no, no counter spells, so... This is an Eldritch Evolution? No, it couldn't be, because they tapped a white instead of a green. Search letter for an enchantment. All right. Impact Tremors number two, sure. Oh, this is nice because we can blink this to get rid of the tokens and blink it again uh, 
to get rid of both impact trimmers. So that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, that's fine. And now they have no cards in hand. I think this game's over, actually. Wow. This match has been amazing. Why aren't they attacking? I only have like four blockers. I don't know why it's lagging today. This is weird. I feel like my clicks are not registering as well as they should be. I can't tell if it's I can't tell if it's me or if it's All right, so we can get rid of impact tremors if anything starts to look fishy. Seems good. Uh, you can't kill either of these. So they go block, block, and they take five, and they're at 12, so every point is pretty relevant here. Can you still drag? I think you can still... Oh, you can't drag cards. That's interesting. Okay, well, we found the flaw in the deck. If they don't get Imara, <laughs> then we're pretty good. Uh, we're definitely playing this and just getting rid of impact tremors, I guess. Because I'm not too afraid of Imara when we have momentary blink as well. If we don't get rid of impact tremors, maybe we get rid, of, get rid of the loam dryads because then they don't have good blocks. Also, loam dryad enables the tapping for uh, for Imara, so let's just go to game three. So don't think these are relevant. Stonehorn is actually pretty relevant. Maybe I bring the Stonehorn back in if they're trying to kill us with creatures. Um, Sun Titan might be a little aggressive. I don't love this hand, but we have enough lands to do all the things we want to do, and we have two Wrath of Gods, which are probably going to be pretty good.
All right, well, this is a nice slow start, so I'm pretty okay with that. Also, we have Reflector Mage, and now we, we should be close enough to get Wrath of God for... Uh... Wrath of God's nice because it doesn't matter how many times you initiate your combo. Your guys just die. Impact Tremors, you got it. The problem is if they have a Mara. No, they don't have. They have to have an Intruder Alarm and Mara in hand. So I have to go one, two, three. Intruder. Well, this you have to have both of these for the Intruder Alarm. Then you go land. Bird of Paradise. What are the odds we die next turn? Can they have it? I don't know. <sighs> Is it worth just throwing a Loam Dryad out here? Or a Reflector Mage when we only have one? I actually don't know. Well, if they, even if the land is an Orchard and they have Intruder Alarm, they still have, to have Orchard, Intruder Alarm, Mara. I'm going to pass. I don't think they can kill us here. I just don't like our odds of actually winning if we don't have, like, Reflector Mage post Wrath of God. And I think the odds are low enough that they would have both cards and ways to cast them. So that's one. Two, three, two, three. So you have four mana total here. Mentor of the Meek, okay. This is actually okay. Because they can't actually draw a card for anything else. All right, I think we did it. Whew. Oh man, Krenko and Bloodline Keeper with Intruder Alarm. Oh my god. What these things you guys are saying are actually insane. Don't manatize me, bro. Don't waste my mother of a gun tithe! Have to skiddly bop away for a few minutes? How dare you? How dare you? Buddy, I'm playing these Vencers for you. Unbelievable. For all you've done for this stream, and you're just going to leave? This is where they get the intruder alarm, I bet. Yep, 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 yep. Way to make me feel guilty. No way, dude. Go, go do what you have to do. Go do what you have to do. One skittly bot bug. <laughs> That's good times. All right. Um, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I think we can just pass here. Yeah, I wish I had an answer for that. I mean, you just have to play a guy, right? Just have to play like Stonehorn here. This draw is not the best, but it should prevent them from being able to like combo off. Like if they have Imara, we have double path, so I don't... If they have Elders Evolution or Court of Calling, we have Double Path, so. If they just have lands, we have Double Path, so. We also have Celestial Colonnade as well, which is, I don't know if you guys knew, that's quite the clock.
Oh, I actually like Disenchant. I was also thinking of counter spells like Negate. I totally forgot we could play counter spells, so that makes me feel dumb. Path to Exile. Yeah, okay. That makes me sad. This is actually worse because now we don't have a... So if they just go, yeah, they don't have a tap. They don't have a way to tap it, though. And they don't have a second creature. So maybe we're good. Oh, we did it. Oh, man, that, that was... That was a little scary. Well... Let's get a hollowed fountain. We can go to 15. Is your last card also a path to exile? Okay, well, double path. <laughs> so, get out of here. So now their next turn is going to be occupied. So they're going to take five. They're going to go to eight. Oh, we could also Reflector Mage that, but then we don't get to attack with Celestial Colonnade. So... <laughs> it still did resolve like it it didn't not resolve it still countered path is still on the stack and and Pact is on top of it. Pact still gets to counter this because the original path that's below it doesn't is not looking and just be like, hey, is the creature still around? It doesn't matter. It doesn't care about that. There's still a counter spell trying to counter it. Well, no, because it's not going to check in the middle of the stack. Like, it's not going to be like, hey, there's no target anymore. It checks upon resolution, but like, you're not going to get to the path's resolution until the Pact of Negation resolves. I actually think this is so they could they have zero cards though like what could they draw the problem is i don't know and this puts seven power on the board two three four five six seven so we can put them to seven and then we still have resto to blink either one of these depending on whether that's necessary Yeah, the problem is War Priest doesn't kill artifacts, which is rough. Artifacts are pretty relevant. I wonder if they have Collected Company. I have not seen a Collected Company. Well, they try to do something. Okay, so let's just like Court of Calling. Court for two, Court for three. Is there any creature that's like an insta win? 
There's no Amaras in the graveyards. Okay, so we just Amara. Sure. Okay. Okay, we just won the game. <laughs> All right, seems good. I'm okay with it. Oh, look, our, uh, we got four intruder alarms and some 30 points. I guess you just get the card that you played against. No, just kidding. We bought these and we didn't close the window. All right, okay, okay. That was pretty sweet. My concern is, like, what do we do against, like, combo decks? Like, against Storm, I feel like we just have no... Nothing to do. Oh, we're still talking about paying for Pact, huh? That's pretty crazy. Well. Also, Damping Sphere is pretty decent against Tron, I guess. All right, let's just try it again. I think actually it was kind of cool that that time. I'm I'm pretty okay with what happened. So let's just hop in again. Usually I like to wait until uh Oh, SOJ Master. Good games. Yeah, that deck is sweet. Is that the Conley list? I actually had no idea what you were doing in game one, and I was like, I think we're dead. Uh, we'll keep this hand. We can cycle a Mold Drifter, I guess. Yeah, deck looks great. There's a lot of things going on, which I enjoy. Uh, sure. I guess we're just hoping to be like, hey, let's play all the... Uh, let's play all the creature decks so that they can't attack us. Well, you got a Street Wraith and a Polluted Delta here, or in a, in a Bloodstained Mire. I'm not sure what's going on here. Probably just going to cycle Mold Drifter. Well, that's fascinating. I wonder what they take here.
Oh, Death's Shadow, huh? Well, look at that. Are we dead? I don't know. How about a Wall of Omens? Or Path to Exile? Oh, there's Stonehorn Dignitary. Okay. Let's just play this guy. I guess we're just hoping you can't kill us. Like, you can deal yourself three. You can cycle a bunch of dudes. So that'd be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and maybe you double it? I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time on Death Shadow McGee. Pretty close to being dead. They play a 3 3 Death Shadow, and you're like, well, I guess it's game over now. Nothing you can do, really. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you can just either go get a Krenko or a Bloodline Keeper with an Eldritch Evolution. That actually seems nuts. You just stack a two drop. That's pretty sweet. <sighs> if you're not dead you probably win that's what I always say here comes if they have stubborn dial it's pretty rough but they might just be not be able to deal with this guy oh a stubborn dial can't counter a creature can it alright well interesting I hope he can't kill this guy I'm really looking forward to him surviving Okay, well. Summon out this guy. Yeah, you never don't have it. It'd be a weird world if you didn't have that. I would be really surprised. Because that would mean that, like, you actually weren't the luckiest person on Earth. <laughs> and, like, one of your two cards isn't a hard counter. Yeah, that seems good. Congratulations. Okay, you got it. So I get to block here and then not die yet. Yep. Sorry, Stonehorn. Fashionably late to the party. You don't do anything, right? No. Okay. Well, we tried. Thought season, stubborn and all. They had to have two answers to Stonehorns. They did. So. I do like Wrath of God here. Um... Let's bring in Path. Let's take out one momentary blink, one flicker wisp. Bring in two wraths, take out the sun titan. You guys hear those those crickets? This ain't the last you've seen of this deck. <laughs> good to hear it. Good to hear it. Keep working on it. I think it's good. It was very scary. Oh my god. We just got a YouTube comment. It's like, the singing is good, but why does this guy draft so much? <laughs> it's like the opposite. Fantastic. Um, Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Yes, that is correct with the, uh, the Muldrifter activation.
Well, that's pretty good. Interesting. Well, deputy detention is pretty good. I wish it was. I almost wish it was Fiend Hunter because of the interactions with Momentary Blink, but we also don't have like anywhere close to five mana, so we don't have anywhere close to three mana. In case you guys didn't know. How about you join next next round, next next event? Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna hit a. Path exile here. I don't think you're taking a moment. Oh, deputy. That's fine. Yeah, that's good too. Can you adjust the curtain on your left side? No, I can't. That's impossible to do. I would never do that. Well, we hit a land, but now we have nothing to resto or blink, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see what you're. I see where you're referring to. There we go. That should. Be a little better, but it's actually not. I think we did it. All right, that should do it. Yeah, I just don't like when people interrupt the stream like in the middle of like an event. Like if I'm doing a video and I'm like playing matches and I'm like in the middle of matches, it's just kind of a big disturbance. So I'd rather just people just be either be here or don't be here. Um, yeah, we have nothing to do. They're at 13. They're basically just killing themselves. Well, we have no no threats here, unfortunately. I, ideally, we'll top deck a wall of homens into a land. That would be a nice combination. Okay, just a land, I guess. Well, everything in our deck is playable except for Benser now. I'm surprised they haven't taken this path to exile yet. I guess because they have, they probably just have stubborn denial, so which means they can't counter any of these guys, but they can counter the path, so. I guess that's a thing. Faithless Schluting. Hmm. Zeichi, I think you meant a one mana blink, right? Because that doesn't make any sense. If there's a two mana blink and you're paying three to evoke, it's still five mana. Thank you. Brando, thank you so much. Whoa, tier two. Get out of here. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. In other news, I had some chicken tikka masala left over and I made CTM. What's CTM? Oh, it's because grilled sandwiches? Oh, that seems amazing. I actually had this, I had this idea to open um like an Indian restaurant, but it would make sandwiches and they would be called Nandwiches. And they would be they would be curries inside naan. And I was like, this is an amazing idea. Like it would be naan, but like maybe like a pita pocket and you'd put the, the curry inside. That would that would I, I felt like that would be delicious. All right, so here we are. We have our two momentary blinks. I think we have to cut one momentary blink from the deck. Yep, this is what they were waiting for.
Because one of the big issues with Indian food is that, like, not even an issue, really, but, like, that you just can't. It's not really a to-go food. You know, it's, like, there's a lot of breads and, and rices and and curries. And so it's kind of hard to eat on the go. It's not, like, a thing you can just pick up and eat. So if you have, like, a pita, like, a, like, like some naan, and then you fill it with paneer or chicken and, and curry, it's just... I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, actually. I'm just going to concede. I don't... Actually, I guess we could draw things, but I'm almost positive that they have at least one, if not two, stubborn denials in their hand. Nanwich? That's literally what I was... That's my idea. They stole my idea. And they did it way before me. Are they going to dismember their own Snapcaster Mage in order to... Oh, wow. Is this going to be just like death? This is pretty impressive. I mean, we could definitely draw a Deputy of Detention. Yeah, this is a lot of... I feel like they should have let me block first, but... Because they could have also just killed the resto, like... I don't know. I guess we'll just take 12 Reno and top deck a Reflector Mage would be nice. Deputy of Detention would be nice. Wrath of God is pretty good if they don't actually have the... Uh, I'm gonna scoop. I assume you always have it. What? <laughs> oh man, and they're at one life. This is gas. What a top deck, my dudes. Oh, here we go. You ready for this? Oh, I don't want to like... So here's the thing. If they do have Stubborn Denial, they can Stubborn Denial this and we actually don't have the extra mana to pay for it. So I'm actually just going to cast this normally because I know it'll resolve. And then we can just blink it in the future. <laughs> this Mold Drifter is lethal. <laughs> You got it. You got it. Okay. Are they going to snap, bolt, snap? That's pretty good. So we go to five, and then we go to three. And then if their last card is bolt, I'm going to laugh. I guess I wouldn't laugh. I'd probably be really sad because... It costs exactly the same and you lose a card. I don't know what you're saying right now. Okay, we're doing it. So actually, I think we... Thank you. Spud Muffin, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're going to play this. We're going to blink it. God, again, though, if they have it, it's really bad. Yeah, but if you blink it, you get two extra cards. You draw from the Mold Drifter, then you blink it, so you draw, you're drawing four instead of two. It's a completely different thing. I mean, it's drawing two cards versus drawing four cards. Yeah, I think we actually have to hope. Oh, all right, cool. We literally need a land that's not tapped. Because now we have to block both of Actually, we can block here and survive. Yeah, we'll just colonnade here. If they don't have an answer for this Mold Drifter, we actually go to one. And then we have Stonehorn and Displacer. 
This match is actually very, very close. Block here, survive the turn. Stonehorn Dignitary, which you can't actually deal with, I don't think. Okay, well, you can't Thought Seize us. Oh, you're just Thought Scouring, sure. That's actually fine. Seven, so we, have, we can actually play this and yeah, it's actually pretty okay. Oh, Teamer Battle Rage in the graveyard, isn't that cute? Can I just kill them with Colonnade? <laughs> like, they can't dismember it. I'm not sure what they could have. Oh, we did it. Wow, going to game three here? Is this a real thing? How is this even happening? Can someone explain it to me? Wow. Wow. I almost do like Sun Titan because we actually... Running a business is money. The only thing I kind of like is Sun Titan, just as like a big fat idiot towards the end there. Wow, I can't believe that Wrath of God, God resolved, the Wrath, Wrath of God resolved, and we just won the game. Can you imagine? And you don't have to. It was here. You, you guys were here. Where you, you're, you can tell your grandkids one day, and your grandkids are going to be like, hey, where, where were you when Frank was able to, to resolve that Wrath of God that he top decked? And you're going to be like, I was there, son. I was there. Wrath of Grog, yeah. Is that was that how was that how it said? Thank you, Spaghetti Toucher. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't even remember if you guys have re have you have popped your resub things yet or not, or if you're just like. If you're just overdoing it, like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it every single day because the glitch, I don't know. You guys could be either way. I also like the whoa, did they just F6 their turn? I'm okay with it. I'm okay. The year was two Alright. <laughs> so welcome to the 2 0 bracket with our Venser. Stonehorn Dignitary deck. This deck is a brutal. Let's take out one momentary blank for like, I kind of like Lone Missionary just for the life gain. Is Lone Missionary better than Core Firewalker in the sideboard because of all the blinking? I don't know. Is there any good white blue creature that does something when it comes into play? Is there any like a better Wall of Omens? What does Lavinia do? Not you. Each opponent, detain each opponent. Yeah, sure, that doesn't do anything. Your new your new form. Can cast creature spells at like man cost. Non-creature spells at greater card the number of lands you control whenever an opponent casts a spell if no mana was spent to cast to counter that spell. I don't want four drops, I want two drops. Like, otherwise we would be looking at Spell Queller, we would be looking at uh, Kitchen Finks. But I want, I want two drops. Um, let's, I'm going to look at all the, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, Miss Meadow is just a blinker. Like it's just a further blinker. I'm going to, I don't want more ways to blink. I want more things to do. <laughs> I took out a momentary blink and you're like, what about this creature that does the same exact thing as the card you just removed from the deck? 
I'm like, mm, you know, that's not really going to do it for me. Enters the battlefield. And we're going to look at white and blue at most these colors. Mm, convert a mana cost equal to two. And we're going to look at modern. Let's see if this works. Just take, uh, we also want creatures. Let's look at creatures. I didn't, I didn't mention creatures, so. Uh, type line, creature. Okay, Anafenza, no. Augur of Bolas, no. Arishan Cleric, Arishan Cleric is a 1-3 that gains you 3 life instead of Lone Missionary, which is a 2-1 that gains you 4. The 1-3 could be more relevant. Deputy of Acquittals, it doesn't that just bounce a thing. The problem is I'm not playing that on two. I want to play things. I want to play things on two mana, so that I have things to do. So I'm not just sitting here twiddling my thumbs on two, because I want to be able to play like a Flicker Wisp on turn three and have something relevant to bounce other than Wall of Omens. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <sighs> Destroying enchantment. We have a light enlightened ascetic, which is just a worse uh, War Priest of Thune. You feel me? All right. Okay. What about Knight of the White Orchid? Huh. Of course, Skyfisher is just literally Deputy of Acquittals with flying. It just bounces the thing. We're not going to have anything to bounce. You guys are like, what about this other card that bounces the thing? And I'm like, oh my god, you guys are killing me. I'm basically dead. I'm leaning towards Knight of the White Orchid, actually. Oh, yeah, let's search for Knight. That's brilliant. Killing it. My search game is so good. Uh, let's look at the next 60. I don't think there's going to be that many. Boros Reckoner. That's a good... That's <laughs> solid. Solid suggestion, Carwit. Solid suggestion. Snapcaster Mage is not terrible, but like the only thing we have is Path. It's like, let's be real. The hell is Azorius Arrester? What is that? Uh, Detain? It's actually not terrible. I would like these, I like some of these cards like Tidebinder Mage or Harbinger, but like they're all double blue which is not really what we're in the market for here how many humans do we have Thalia's lieutenant is that a card no not really we don't have this is a rhino soldier this is an angel this is a god we don't we're not in the market for that i think i'm just gonna play i'm gonna see if knight of the white orchid is where we want to be uh one take out one wall of omens and we can probably take out one of something else We just take out the Sun Titan. I don't know if there's enough targets for Sun Titan. I guess these are all very good. I kind of like Sun Titan. I like it even more now that we have. Yeah, that was good. Sun T. Do we just take out one Venser? <laughs> Sage of Epitier. No, we're not gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, uh, what is this? Let me hold on. Let me find this one again. I, is that even. I remember that card being actually terrible, right? Am I just wrong? Am I thinking not? I was thinking of taking one Venser out. Yeah, let's try it like this. I think two Venser is good. There's been situations where we draw Venser and we just have nothing on board. We're also 2-0 with this deck against Death Shadow. Well, one of the decks with Death Shadow, anyway. Oh, Sage costs one mana, and you look at the top four and put them back in any order. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Hmm. I did actually... Um, I did actually consider... Squadron Hawk.
What do we got here? Stonehorn, Moldrifter. I like Moldrifter hands just because I can cycle it on turn two. Cycle it. <laughs> the ends? Oh my god. <laughs> god damn. Oh, don't. I actually did. I did consider. Uh, I did consider Spell Stutter Sprite as well. Spell Stutter Sprite's often just. Uh, what? All right, let's drop this guy. I'm not gonna ask you. I, I'm not gonna ask you what they are. I, I, I think we all know. We all know what you're talking about. It's you're not. It's it's not a secret. We're not having a secret time. Oh, you missed. Actually, you missed. We were talking about DNs earlier, and you. I think you actually missed a bunch of that. I was thinking, I looked at Sutra Priest too, that also showed up in the search, and I was just like, there's just not enough creatures, we're not like going, we're not going wide enough for the, for the Sutra Priest. I feel like we want to do this, but we also haven't played any, like we, we'd have to discard, so, you know, I'm good with that. Oh my god, you're just electrolyzing my face? Good lord. Get your life together. Get your life together. Okay. Okay. Buddy. Oh, and an Ancestral Vision? That was a sneaky one. Buddy, I will shoot you in the face. I think it's actually better to just play Dignitary here. Because they skip a combat, they, they're not attacking, and it's a better mana use because next time we can keep Blink and play one of these three drops, or like, play Wall of Omens and Blink things. We could have also Wall of Omens there. Oh, Fogwalker, keep on rolling, Mississippi Moon, don't you keep on shining on me? I keep on shining on me, everything, man. Don't kill that, don't, why? Why are you the way that you are? Gonna make everything all right. Don't make what keep on rolling and the baby keep on shining on me. Oh god, Chandra. A little shandy. Oh god, I hate Ancestral Vision is such a such a beating. Do I have any way to counter that? Oh, you're gonna. This is what you're gonna do. Boy, the only bad thing about viewers playing against us is they they know exactly what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like, so you know exactly that I have a blink in hand, and that I'm probably gonna be able to blink this, and you're gonna counter it, and you're gonna get your Chandra back. So it's like you you know exactly what to play around, and it's pretty rough. Gonna make everything all right. Eerie interlude is pretty interesting. The problem is we don't have enough creatures that are really blinking here. Thank you. Rain loss. Thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. 
I really like the singing on your streams. That's all. No complaints. Okay. I like it. Like, what do we do against these guys? These are hard to deal with. Thank you. And this is why I like Detention Sphere better, even if you can't blink it. Like, I just think it's a better card. Jera for all. For us all. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. All right. So we can kill Jace. No, we can't. We don't have enough power. Nope, don't cast with Evoke. Just cast with Normal. Well, we were hoping for a... Yikes. Attack the Chandra, I guess. I don't want them to go off and, like... If they wipe our board, this gives us more time to deal with it. Oh, God, I'm so... I'm so discouraged about what's happening here. They're going to go for, like, eight cards with an active Chandra and an active Jason. It's just... Not good. Notion Thief? That's a black... That's a, that needs black mana. Are you sure you're thinking of the right card? Okay. Okay. You can cast that off of... Oh, I'm vomiting in my mouth. I mean, they have to discard four cards here, so... I guess that's fine. Fenza could be decent. We are at seven life. That is not a lot. We have six mana though. That's good. I like having lots of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go Venser for five and then do nothing else. Can go resto blink this guy bounce the bird attack jace for two doesn't really do anything they have seven cards i don't think i would ever see just sleeve up a sage owl and uh in modern <laughs> uh, it just feels feels bad man Yeah, I'm more worried about the Chandra than the Jace, but... Especially because, like, they have two extra damage here. And I assume there's a Snapcaster somewhere, which puts us to one. I think we're dead, but, like, whatever. Magic's, magic's magic, am I right? We still have Wall Owens to block here, but this is two, and any Lightning Bolt is also another one, so. How are we doing? We're currently 2-0 right now. We played against Death Shadow and a sweet combo deck. I kind of feel like there should be Venser Shaper Smod just for Venser. Yeah, I agree. I can agree because of the Venser Tribal. Uh, okay, Vryn's Prodigy. Double Bloodbraid Elf is good. I'm afraid of it. Which means we're dead to any Lightning Bolt. Unless they just go for Venser. Which would be ambitious. Ah, 
that didn't even hit. Are they just going face? All right, so they have a lightning bolt in their ridiculously large seven card hand. Oh, we got it. All right, so we're dead. And bolt our face. This is not a lightning bolt. That is an electrolyze. Okay. All right. So we're dead to a Chandra activation. One, two, three, four. So can we just attack Chandra for... Nope. All right. Sure. There's a lot of things you have. That gets rid of Chandra. Jace does kill us too. Well, that is a thing, isn't it? <laughs> that is a thing. All right. One, two, three, four. The problem is we can blink this, and then we have to have like path to exile. Well, then we can't even stop the attackers. Like, there's, they're attacking us on three different axes. Creatures, Jace, light, with Lightning Bolt, and Chandra. We could blink this and bounce Jace with Venser. And then deten eh, let's do that. All right. We're not dead. I mean, if they have a lightning bolt, we're dead, but. Whew. We're alive. Uh, lightning bolt you? We're dead. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, take out a wall of omens, take out one blink. I'm less sold on blink. It's just a little too expensive, unfortunately. Um, Do we have any sort of answers for planeswalkers not really this is like the deputy attention just dies to all the, the all the removal in this format which is pretty brutal Yeah, let's play first. All right, so keep this hand. Oh, I like this uh, this old school treetop village. That is nice. I think we're just going to actually get rid of this dude now because we have no other plays. And if they end up killing this, then we can Wrath of God pretty freely. 
we could have waited, but there's no guarantee that they're going to play another creature. If there is for next time, he'll be black, blue, and be called Teferi the Nefarious. Because... <laughs> I don't, um, you know what? Okay, why not just make him Esper? And then he's like, he can still retain his blue, white. See, there you go. Let's block you. Um, I think we can flicker wisp here and then just steal a rabble master. Maybe. Nah, I'm just gonna pass. They're gonna play a fourth mana. Uh, they're gonna play a fourth land, Frank. You can't play mana. That's a good point. That's a good point, dear listener, viewer, watcher. Creeper? That's a good point, dear Creeper. Oh, wow. Well then. Oh, Biscuit City. Welcome to Biscuit City. I'm gonna wrath the board and I hope you don't have a mantle force spike. A mantle force spike. Pact of negation. We could have pathed the knight, but yeah, we're trying to set up Wrath of God to be decent. I don't want to throw a knight out there if we don't have to. Yep, Jace the Mind Sculptor on an empty board. That's really where you want to be in life, I think. Oh, I can get me a hollow fountain. I'm just going to get a regular planes. Um... Oh, actually, yeah, we don't need to do that. We can just go like this. Deputy of Detention. Get that Jace. Never don't have it. <laughs> My God. Oh, boy. I long for the one day they don't have it. Just once. That's all. Boom, 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 boom. Kitchen Finks? That's a good one. That's a good little hit. They didn't have it when we played Wrath vs. That Show, that's true. That's a good point. Can't get enough of that golden crisp. What's he saying? Golden crisp now? Nobody knows. I don't really need to take extra damage here. I'm just going to path this idiot. Sure. <laughs> oh, man.
This is just really hard to beat. Like, we just have no way to deal with a Jace. Phil, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Um, are we gonna resto? No, maybe. Can't get enough. Of I didn't even take a break between these two, did I? Between the draft and the uh, the modern portion, did I? That's fascinating. Revoker just dies the same way Deputy does, right? Like, I mean, if we have Deputy and it dies, then Revoker's just gonna die the same way. They're just they're just creatures. I want I want this off the board. I don't want this sitting on the board and in hopes that they can't deal with a two one or a. Well, we, we had Detention Sphere originally, which I think is good. Can't get enough of that, Jace. We might actually be able to kill Jace here. Yeah, all right. I think we're looking good. Oh, yeah. We get to eat. Oh, yeah. This is great. Oh, yes. Oh, we did it. I guess we did have a way to kill. We had a way to kill Jace all along. It was already it was already here all along. One, two, three. Reflecty boy. Bounce this guy. Baffling end? I mean, it doesn't do anything for the deck though, right? Like, it's not... I would rather have, like... It doesn't get rid of... We're not trying to get rid of creatures. We're trying to get rid of... Flecky Wisp. So we can actually blink the Resto and then blink the Reflector Mage, which is probably better because that way we get an extra blocker. But I don't see it mattering that much. And now they can't play either of these next turn, which is good. Okay. 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 We just <laughs> Yep, just have it all. It's just don't don't ever not have it all. Never change. Okay. Uh so about red. I'm probably going to avoid playing red because it sucks. Red is the worst color in Magic. And, uh... Alright, so they have an Azkanta. They have two creature lands. They have a Tarmogoyf and a... Another another dude. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh. How many are in your deck again? Full four. Full four uh, Jace the Mind Sculptors. Interesting. I do like these lands, though. These are nice. Are we dead? Probably dead. 
I can't deal with two Tarmogoyfs, a Scavenging Goose, and a, and, a, and, a, and a Jace the Lion Sculptor here. Much to my dismay. So one, two, they can eat four more things. Yikes. Why are they eating their cards to like Reflector Mage, Flicker Wisp, Knight? That was interesting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I can just, oh, six, oh, because I'm dead. That's why, because it doesn't matter. Yeah, all right. You know, I have one card in hand, so I don't know what's, what's I don't know what that's all about. Anyway. All right, so let's go here. What's not? I don't like the deputy's attention. I don't think they're that great. They did, they, like, I think detention sphere is just better. I just think it's, I just think it's better. Maybe it's not good at all. Maybe we just play, like, more reflector mate. Yeah, it's got, no, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to get rid of, like, planeswalkers, right? Yeah, Bolt of Sphere. It's good with Strangler. What is Strangler? Oh, yeah, but we're not playing Eldrazi here. Spell Queller is not bad, but it does the same. It dies the same way. Like, if we play a Spell Queller, if they have any three damage removal spell, it dies the same way as the Deputy Detention does. Only Deputy Detention can get five drops or resolve spells. You know, like, it just doesn't. Yeah, I don't want a four mana thing. I'd rather just have detention sphere is just better than cast out. It's Yeah, we'll just try it with detention sphere instead. We can also just have like negates in the sideboard. Or like disdainful strokes. No, it's gotta be negate. I think negate's probably better. Maybe it could be like a Revel Arc deck. That's interesting. Maybe instead of Sun Titan, we want a Revel Arc. It's five mana. Do we want more Muldrifters? I don't know. There's so many things we want. Two negates in the sideboard is probably better than nothing. Did we take out. Um, one of the momentary blinks no we did not oh yes we did okay sweet all right so gone here gone here and i will play first i'll keep this hand finally get to cast the displacer i like it We're doing it. Uh, the problem with Mystic Snake is we have no green, so we're just changing the entire deck if we start adding Mystic Snakes. What is even happening right now? It's all permanent. They just put it back on, right? Let's just play this guy. Uh, I don't feel like blocking here, unfortunately. I'll just take four again, I guess. Because we can ideally blink this guy forever.
So they can't really attack here because we block here and then blink this guy. They're one man away from activating that. You got it. This is a lot of power. Oh. 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 <laughs> Does that win? Can they deal with a Stonehorn Dignitary and an Eldrazi Displacer on board? Oh, man. Oh, boy. Excellent. So we can go one, two, three, keep up momentary blink. We can flicker wisp our own dignitary. And then keeping up momentary blink means like they they have to have two removal spells in their green deck. Oh my god. Who fell for whose trap? Am I right? Skip your next combat step. Can you win outside of combat? Mm, I don't think so. I can never block this guy to be fair. Uh, well, I guess I can block with this guy or this guy. I can block with 66% of my creatures is really what I meant to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to play another Flicker Wisp here. Or we can play Venser and Blink this guy. Oh, that seems better, right? Let's do that. Oh, baby. <laughs> Keep on blinking. Whoop, whoop. Remember that time they got combat step? I don't either. I don't either. Okay. Oh, that guy does have reach, though. I guess we can blink it forever. When the shark blinks. Is that a bump? Oh, creatures can't be blocked. That seems like a good one, too. One, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three. Why does this guy have reach? Avatar of the Resolute is such a weird card to have reach on it. Oh, we're going to try to ultimate Venser. Don't don't you worry. Don't you worry. That guy's got haste, but I'm going to be honest with you. It don't matter. I mean, we should be careful because they could have, like, rapid hybrid. No, that's a green card. That's a blue card. Beast within? I guess they could have beast within. How many Stonehorn Dignitaries is too many? Three? This is two this is two uh two combat steps they they have stacked. So they don't get one now. I just want to ultimate this Venser. Oh, why do they why do they hate fun? Yeah, I think that went well. Okay, so we're gonna bring in two wraths and two wraths and a path. That's that's what I always say. Man. All of our cards this actually seems pretty good against them. Are we gonna go three one? Because that seems pretty cool. 
Stonehorn, that's what's known as MVP. I'll take out the Sun Titan. I think that guy's probably a bit much. Uh, Wall of Omens is good. Knights are good. Momentary Blink is fine. Probably take... Ah, Flicker Rest was really good at floating over. I'll take out one Resto. I'll take out... I'll take out the Afara. I didn't understand the point of the deck because I came in late. I get it now. I get it now. I understand. I did not see. And now I do. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that guy. Look at this little cutie. Oh, and they're playing first, so we get to go uh, turn three knight into find a land, play land. Have a, a free land. Thank you. Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I can see you as well. Oh, they did not play a second land, so I guess... I guess we could have played Knight. Well. I'll say it after the weirdest thing is, give me a, give me an example. Give me an example, I want to hear, I want to hear a funny, that's what, that's what I always say. Okay, well, I think we're in good shape here, I'll be honest. Is this leaves the battlefield? If it dies, okay, sure. Nope, let's not activate that guy. What's happening right now? Badger with 10 gifted subs? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. You're out of control, dude. Oh, wall of ice cream back? Welcome back. I don't see how we lose with this hand. This hand is literally just deals with creatures for days Thank you. Thank you. I will Thank block you. but you did not let me so if we attack we could just trade here I think that's Thank actually you. fine There's no way they block. Blocking is silly. Thank you. Oh my god, so many thank yous. Thank you. My love to you all. My love to you, buddy. Thank you so much. You are awesome. This is a, this is great. We're playing some RPG Badger Venser deck. He's donating subs. Everybody's having a good time. You know what? I'll take two. Do, 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 do. I don't want to wait for our life to be over. I'm going to path this guy and give you lands. Three mana is about the peak for you, so I'm not really too concerned with you getting a fourth land. And we do get to play knight here, so... I will say yes. Let's get a hollow fountain. I don't think they're going to play something that we definitely need a path, especially when we have a knight. So I'm just going to attack with both of these guys and see what happens, perhaps. Daddy Key, what are you saying right now? This is a lot of, uh, a lot of pumpage going on here. Okay, so we could Venser and blink a Reflector Mage and then bounce this guy. And they can't replay it. Let's do that. And that also puts our Venser at five, which is pretty strong. Q. 
Can I get a boing? If Detention Sphere wasn't theirs, we could actually play Detention Sphere on both our Reflector Mages. Exile the Detention Sphere so that both detention, both Reflector Mages come back. And then we could actually put Blink 2 and then put the Detention Sphere on one of their guys. But unfortunately, that's not how that works. Let's get this 5-4 out of the way. So now even if they have more 5-4s, they can't play them next turn. Every time I say bouquet, <laughs> bouquet, <laughs> excuse me. All right, well, I'm definitely killing one of these dudes. Likely this one. Because this guy can evolve, this guy can regen. Fencer can go to, go to two, that's fine. You have, you have tricks. Oh no, mistakes were made. I don't know what they are, but here they are. I mean, let's be real. We have a ton of ways to deal with all their things. Playboosh, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Man, this is a sub this is a sub city. We built sub city on all these subs. That is a big Jimmy. We're gonna double block this guy and see what happens. If they have another trick, we're just gonna path it. But I'll trade one for one here. We know their hand is Avatar, Experiment One. And then whatever they're gonna whatever they're gonna trick us with here. Oh, oh, you're killing this guy first? Oh, that's a good deal. Knight for Pelt Collector? Yeah, let's do that. That was not ideal. Let's try to hit a land, I guess. We did not. <laughs> it's just they're never gonna just be able to cast their creatures again. It's fantastic. Oh god. Reflector Mage is so good. No wonder this card was banned in standard. I think they're dead. Skeldo Cat, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Stranger Goost. Avatar? Yep. Bump again. No haste, though, so that's good. Alright, well, we'll just block and you can pump again if you want. Just keep on. Oh, you have. Tr now you have more tricks. Okay, that's fine. I mean, you can't really beat this guy, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't want to brag, but. And Dun Dunsey McDunzertons. Yeah, we dropped some frames, but now we're done. So we're good. Oh, hitting hitting momentary blink is real good because now we just have protection. Choke? We only have two islands. Yeah, it's fine. That's rude, though. Can we just emblem Venser? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Whoop! <laughs> oh, excellent. Excellent. Uh, 
And I guess we'll play a land. Blink this guy. Exile the choke. And we'll keep two paths up. Do 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 do. What a miserable matchup, I guess. I mean, that's modern, dude. I mean, if you had any piece of removal whatsoever, like you have a dismember, you used it on a crappy creature instead of a good creature. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just probably just going to cast two spells here. Displacer. Exile this floaty boy. One, two, three. Flicker Wisp. Exile this big idiot. Wow, this Venser emblem is M is OP. Blink our own dignitary. And he never attacked again. This match is great. This match is fantastic. This is what you guys sign up for here. Oh, and we got him. I think 3-1 with this deck is pretty sweet. I actually like the way this turned out. We never drew the Afara, which is sad. Which might be too cute, even. But I definitely like the way we change things. I like the, the Wall of Omens. I like the Knight of the White Orchids. Uh, Reflector Mage. And I think Detention Sphere is just, in general, better than Deputy of Detention. Even if we can't blink it. You can still blink it with Venser, which is, which is fine. Um, but yeah, Stoneheart Dignitary actually did some work. Kind of impressed. Pretty sweet. Anyway, this is going to be the deck I think we're going to use, and we're at the we're at the two hour mark for this one, so definitely pretty sweet. Definitely pretty sweet. Badger, thanks for thanks for showing this to me, man. This is pretty sweet, actually. I enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys want to have your own deck critiques, definitely check me out. You can find me and you can find the information on how to do so in the Twitch profile and the Patreon page. Links are in the description below, and uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. Don't go anywhere. But if you're watching on YouTube. Thanks for watching.